Hi everyone, this is Sandy Kirby, your instructor for um, CPED 1010, uh, the course that just opened up in your advanced business program this week. So uh, for those of you that were on our virtual orientation way back, I guess in August, um, it's been a little bit, so I don't expect you to remember everything I said during that orientation. So I'm gonna do a super quick video, go over a couple of things since you have assignments due uh, quickly, since it's only a five week course, I'm getting a lot of questions about site visits. I'll cover that. Um, but just kind of want to give you a quick rundown of how the course is set up and um, things that you guys need to start working on if you haven't already done so. Okay, I am going to go ahead and um, share my screen here and um, just kind of go over, like I said, a few things with you. For this class, your CPED 1010, this is the basic home screen. Let me kind of switch real quick so you'll see it exactly as you'll see it uh, that you will see when you log into the course. Most of you have at least logged in at this point, so that is a positive. Um, mostly I'll have on the course homepage everything that's due for the upcoming week. Um, everything's going to close on Sunday, Sundays at midnight. So if you have assignments that are coming up, um, just know for this class, they will specifically close um, Sunday at midnight, okay? Second thing is, let me cover this super quickly. Um, so I'm showing, if you guys see this little envelope here, um, part of my job is also working a lot with helping employers, connecting those employers with our students here at Cleveland State. I very rarely um, send you guys email through this course. I will send it through your Gmail, through your Cleveland State email address, okay? So super quickly, because maybe some of your instructors sent emails directly through the course, like you would have, um, you know, a message right here. Mm -mm, no, I, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to send it through your Cleveland State email only, okay? Please, I'll kind of put some note about that in there because I get questions about that a little bit. Um, all right, let's hit through your content. So, of course, you will go to your course content and you will see everything that's due, everything that's coming up. Um, you guys can easily work ahead and submit as much as you want to, as early as you want to, much preferred, as always. But you'll have um, links to everything that you're going to have to be responsible for submitting and getting those turned in. There's a lot of Dropbox activities um, where you'll just submit those to Dropbox, okay? Uh, first thing is all of these are gonna be due by this Sunday if you have not already completed them. So you're gonna see um, the high five test, which students actually really enjoy learning about. Again, do not pay at the end of that test. It's, it can, you can pay some money to get a lot of additional information. You don't need that. All you need is your top five strengths, okay? Um, the hold harmless agreement link is something that we do have to complete. Um, it's part of the Cleveland State process. So just make sure you're getting that done and there's videos um, exactly how to fill that out. The information card is a very, very important one because that kind of links me to um, your phone number uh, where you're working at, all those good little things that are going to help me throughout this course. Um, you'll have a pre-survey and a post-survey for work-based learning, so just make sure you do that. That's how we capture some data, data on how you guys are doing, and um, then of course the biggest one is submitting your goals. So you will have um, three goals that you can create and submit, and you'll work with your supervisor on those goals. So this is important because it kind of can help you advance in your current job or just give you some skills that maybe you're really wanting to obtain. We have everything from people wanting to uh, get more management experience, get more leadership experience, um, HR, payroll, I've seen it all. So uh, whatever you are looking to gain in your employment or as a career goal, those are what you can work for in mentioning your three goals. If you have questions on that, reach out, okay? Um, let me go back up through here. Again, everything is laid out as clearly as I can kind of put it, but you'll have the dates throughout the next five weeks and there's maybe some discussion boards, um, resume portfolio, I've even gotten some resumes turned in by now. 
but you will have to be responsible of um, turning in an up-to-date resume, your cover letter, and it can be made to a generic company or you can make it to the company you're currently working for and um, a reference page with at least three references. So that's the majority. I mean, you go through here and see kind of what you're looking at for each week that's coming up. Let me cover super quickly um, timesheets. So that should be down here um, for time, your timesheet. And again, it's gonna kind of list um, what we're talking about for timesheets. So for those of you that are working, fantastic, amazing, good deal. You should have zero problems um, getting 150 hours in at your workplace. So I've seen anything from electronic timesheets. I get email, if your supervisor just wants to email me and say, um, you know, Sarah Beth has definitely worked uh, at least 150 hours during her spring, sem fall semester. That's all I need. Um, just something to verify that we're in the system, that you are working um, and you're getting 150 working hours in during the semester. Okay, if you have questions, let me know. Um, last thing is to go over, let me get back here, um, let me go back through, make sure I got it updated super quickly. Okay. Yes, it's on there. Okay, so the last thing to quickly cover is I'm getting some questions about site visits. And um, yes, as many of you as possible, especially because you're gonna have co-op one, the class you're currently in, and you're gonna be in co-op two, um, either next semester or the following semester, however that works out for you. And it is crucial if at this point in your co-op one class, if we can get that SOC visit in person. Um, so I know there's a lot of policies, procedures with COVID as we are here at Cleveland State, I totally get that, um, but whatever I need to do to accommodate your workplace, I'm easily I'm willing to do that. So if it's wearing a mask, if it's bringing my vaccination card, whatever I need to do, um, I can provide any of that information if needed. If there's a person I need to contact at your, like an HR director, um, somebody over site visits for visitors, um, let me know and I can reach out to them and just um, kind of give them a heads up at, at what I'm doing. Most of the time, I'm only there about 20 minutes unless, um, actually, sometimes it's probably an hour. But it's just because um, I, you as a student can show me what you do on the job. And um, if you want to show me around the plant or your business, I'm overly willing to do that. So I'm a little bit of a nerd when it comes to seeing all those different things. But if at all possible, we need to schedule an on-site um, site visit for those, okay? You can find um, a Google spreadsheet on your course homepage, or again, I will have emailed that to you through your Cougar Net email only. All right, if you guys have questions, let me know. Um, otherwise, I'm going to, let's see. And stop this recording and hope this helps you out just a little bit. Okay.